it is Jenna. You are looking at my little home studio with my little crafty desk. So I've been wanting to share a little desk tour of my little studio desk for some time now. I posted a photo on Instagram back in December saying that I'd love to do a desk tour and who would be interested and I had some lovely replies by some of my lovely friends and subscribers and Instagram community so thank you so much for yeah, letting me know that you did want to see this little desk tour and that was back in December so I'm so sorry it's taken quite some time to get this to you. Yeah, so I just thought it would be interesting to kind of share with you a little tour of my space here. It's the place where I do film all my videos. So if you can see, like it's a pretty good size in the way that you can have like all your stationery and things like on it. Like, a, like it comes out quite a bit if you can just, I don't know if this is kind of giving you a good like scope. Um, yeah, so it's kind of gives you, <laughs> for someone who like uses I need to be able to get to things like my packaging over here and some things for pen paling. So yeah, things that I need to quickly grab, I can kind of put in like this little um, little caddy here, which is really handy. I need to have certain things at my fingertips. And then um, I've got some of my favorite washies up here, or just washies I use a lot that are, I guess a bit thicker too for when I'm using for packaging. Obviously I put all my inspiring favorites here, like in this little caddy here, I've got like just lots of little favorites and finds and stationary things, gifts, um, and just things I've picked up at the thrift store. And I've also been gifted lots of things. I have like some of my Peko Chan items. You guys know that I'm really obsessed with Peko Chan. I just absolutely love her. I've got my stamps. So a lot of things that I use to create Happy Mail and things that I do journal with. And I probably will be honest, I've probably got another tour for you. I probably don't really journal as much here. Um, only if I'm doing like a process video for you guys on YouTube. I mainly um, do a lot of my pen pal in here and my filming for my videos and packaging up shop orders and things like that. So this is kind of what I use this space for. And obviously, of course, for my work that I do, I write for magazines and, and digital um, publications, um, TV channels, things like that. So um, yeah, I do a lot of my photography in here. Um, I think I was talking to another YouTuber just saying how I kind of um, set up this room in regards to that I work, because I work with natural light. I don't have any fancy equipment besides my little tripod over there. Um, there's just a sword of stuff there. Um, I need to reorganize stuff. I also didn't want to like restyle and get like this ready just for a video. I wanted you to kind of see it in its natural state. So yeah, it's not always perfect. There's like bits and bobs like sticking out that I've yanked out from these little caddies and there's like obviously I need to sort this section out over here so I probably won't go into too much details of that. I've always loved these, I don't know if you can see this little on my desk, this white, they call them shadow boxes. Now I don't always use things for the purpose that they're intended for, I always try to find my own kind of way of using different like home decor pieces. That's why I love op shopping because it also I can find lots of different yeah, decor items and things that I love or I can repurpose and recycle and reuse. So this is actually like a shadow box and a shadow box is one of those things where you kind of sit them on the walls like in kids rooms and you'd put like little trinkets inside, inside each of the holes like as like a decorative piece. Uh, I guess you could even use them if you're like putting vases and different things in there but I got it so I could put all my stationery into like so I had all these different levels and all these different shelves where I can kind of like have things at my fingertips but like things that I would often go to um it also works as like a shelf on the top so it's double bonus so basically the setup is I have this is my little kind of online shop packaging slash um, nostalgic childhood items found at the thrift store slash um, pen pal decorating and pen pal goodies um, 
section. <laughs> so I thought I'll take you, just take you through here. Sorry about the shaky camera. I am doing this handheld. I just thought it would be a little bit easier to go through everything. Um, so kind of got here is now in Japan, but um, there, I don't know if anyone knows, but in Japan, like they just love these little kind of plastic trays and they use, um, they use these trays for, um, they use these trays for like making payments. So you'd put your money on the tray if you're in a shop, hand it over and then I'll take the money off and put your change on it. But I've always loved these trays. They're like my little go-to for um, moving things around the house. So all just like storing things on. Like so if you had, because I photograph a lot on my desk here as I mentioned. I'm just constantly having piles of things about that I've been working on and or yeah, just some maybe some new things and it's just easy to have things on a tray because you can stick it all on the tray and then you can like move the tray around or move it out the way. Um, I just love I just love the little trays. I, I don't know. Um, so I just have lots of things on trays. So as you can see, I've got some of my beautiful um, incoming pure box mail here and these are just some that I've started to reply to. So I've got them on my desk there. Again, I have another tray here. Um, I've just got a bunch of different things. Um, hello! Here's a very sneak peek of my Hobonichi. Um, it is always complete um, because it's from January to July, to the start of July. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out. I think the next video is going to be a completed flip through of this journal. It's just like a beast, guys. Like, look at it. <laughs> um, oh, I, I'm kind of spoiling. I haven't shown much of my Hobonichi because I wanted to save it for a little peek of the idea I had for the cover. Um, so those who know Hobonichi well will know where this picture's from. And as soon as I saw this little free booklet that came with Hobonichi, I knew exactly what I was going to use it for. And that was to decorate. I did a little DIY on this little cover for it. So really excited to share you guys that as well as like a little tray like it's having trays to organize things I have so many of like these little um, wallets and I use them I as if you've seen my travel kit videos I use them to put a bunch of stationary items in for when I'm traveling they're really handy I also fill them with like paper infirmia and things I'm using or things that I've cut up and this one, I have pocket, little um, little pocket bags for projects for projects that I'm working on. So I started um, doing like this little project um, from Kayla's channel. So um, Kayla's wonderful Rainbow Holic TV channel. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these Kawi journaling challenges. I think without realizing that I've always kind of done Kawi journaling, but it's just nice to kind of have a name to go with something. But um, yeah, I really wanted a different place to put some of these pages in. So what I did was I made a little zine, so like a little booklet. So I illustrated the logo myself on here. And then I've been um, very badly keeping up with it. But yeah, so I've just got a few little pages in here that I've done. Um, I really like the little zine idea um, that I created for this um, journaling project. But I wasn't, I'm not happy with like the paper um, because it kind of, it's art paper. So it's just curving a bit. So I don't know if I want to, um, I don't want to be cruel to tear it up and put it into like another little journal with that lies flat so it makes it easier for me to journal so what I've kind of done is I've just collected items that I wanted to use for this particular project and I put it inside here and then when I feel like working on that project I pick up my little pouch like I said I normally journal in my in the lounge room at the end of the day or first in the morning to like get the creative juices flowing um, so yeah that's why these little pouches come in handy um, and then I've just got some like latest things, things I've bought, just this little Sakura flower, um, a little paper packet, I've just got random bits and pieces. Um, some beautiful letter paper I've been using for, yeah, getting back to pair of box supplies and my pen pals. 
yeah, I got this little cute card at the thrift shop. And I'll probably write inside it to a pen pal. Yeah, just lots of like papers, like letter sets. I'm just crazy for letter sets. Um, and just a few new papers and things. Here, I found that at the thrift shop. It's one of those like, do you remember that as a kid, those paint by numbers things? This is like, I guess it's not done by numbers, but it's a similar thing where I remember, yeah, you just had water and you'd, you'd color in with a paintbrush with water on these little colored bits and like it would just turn into paint. Um, I can't believe I got this scenario character. So excited. So I'll probably journal with some of those things. So that's what's there. And then my little hobby niche ready to go for a little filming sesh. Um, I just have a little like peco candy everywhere. Um, just some special teas. I've been sending some pen pals as well. This is like an ice tea. I think I might have one of those today myself. And just like, yeah, let's be honest guys, you know I love Peko. I'm sorry, this is like so, um, just everywhere. Um, one of my favorite snacks, if you checked out my Japan snack video, um, please go over and have a look at that. I love your support on that video. Um, it did take quite a while to put that one together. Um, so I really appreciate anyone who goes over and checks it out. So I've got more details about my favorite Japanese snacks on that. So I just really love these little quails. I've always had these since a kid, but I'm loving all these different packagings they're bringing out. So I always get them and um, yeah, I put them in my journal and things. Um, oh, this is just like so random. So a little, I went on holidays to Southern Highlands and they had, this is one of the brochures. It's like a bird watching guide and this is, oh my God. So we get lots of beautiful birds up where I live in the Blue Mountains, but we get a lot of these actually. This is from the Southern Highlands, but I just love things like this. Like, it's like, yeah, like a bird watcher's guide. I don't know. Oh my God. Am I just a nerd, guys? I just, I just, I had to pick that up and I've got a couple for some pen pals and I was always on thinking of my pen pals and I'm around. This was like a little book that I um, thrifted, a little Japanese book. It's on like Dutch packaging. Um, and then I've just really got an assortment of nostalgic um, books from my childhood and things that I'm using. I've got some, so these are some latest thrift haul finds. Um, who remembers Mr. Squiggle? So I keep them all here because they're my favorite. I've also got some papers and I found this really cool um, scrapbook. And I've got, yeah, just some more things in here. I've got this, I get these, I find them from like big department stores and they're for kids and they're like, they're only like $10 or $4. And they're always themed around something. And guys, did you know there, I know there's like kids puzzles and stuff in here. It's like, so can I just like clarify, it's actually full of stickers, so. Um, yeah, they might not be packaged in a beautiful way, but they're stickers, so <laughs> I had to get that one because that's, I haven't seen the movie yet, um, but I just thought it will be fun. I've also, like, super excited to find these Popples annual thrift shopping. I had the toys when I was little. They were like these little teddy bears that turned into flowers. I also love mugs with faces on them. So I've got, yeah, my little mug. I think this is a Kiki K one. And yeah, I've just got um, my Stadler pens. I use them a bit for dressing, coloring in. This little Japanese pig. I found it at the op shop and when I saw it, I like screamed. <laughs> it is um, a little retro Japanese money box. I absolutely adore it. Um, I have some sticker albums here. These were only recently gifted to me, so that's why they're not all full. So it was really nice to have those. I do have one here, but I'll probably save that for another video. My glues, guys. So a few of you have asked what type of glues I use. I've got nothing fancy. Um, my go-to glue that I use for everything in journaling is um, this particular glue. So it's just a standard glue from um, yeah my office supply shop. Um, I love the Tombow glue. I I love using it. It's just it's it's fragrant scented, so it's got this beautiful fragrant smell. I got this little post box glue, 
and I've got like so I've got this Futiki I'm probably not saying it right Fueki one of my other favorite little characters you'll probably see him popping up uh, in my journals and just yeah I collect lots of things with him um, no one really knows too much about him but I love him he's just like a little glue pot boy and I just like Peko Chan I just love him so much um, I just have some like, just random bits I've got a little llama washi tape holder and I've got some Hobonichi some Hobonichi stamps so that's really cute from the Hobonichi store and then I've got like lots of little things up here like I've got a little shop collectible Vegemite jar because I mean it's Vegemite so I'm gonna have that one there um some little cute packaging um I've got a little koala squishy um oh like I just got lots of trinkets everywhere um this oh boy I've got this from my trip to Japan all those years ago. A little Harajuku keychain. Um, I've got my Peko tin where I collect my postage stamps in it. Um, I have these given to me by a friend too. Um, and yeah, I've just got like a box of stamps and more stamps in this little tin. So I've kind of made some of my favorite things like useful as well. Um, lots of stamps. Cause I love stamping them um, in my journal, of course, envelopes. Um, these are some of my favorite inks. They're Japanese like travel style inks, but they're so good because you can use them in your Hobonichi and they don't bleed through um, the page. So they're great. Uh, a little box of these girl stamps. I probably will be showing some of these things in detail another time, but I'm just kind of giving you an overall look. And then I've, this is my most loved and favorite mug. Um, I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite thrift shop finds. And it's got like all my favorite pens, um, ones that I use all the time. Um, I've got like, like some Yuji pens. Um, one of my lovely friends gave me this Sarasa pen. It's one of the candies. Um, I love <laughs> packaging design, especially cute Japanese package design. So um, oh, I was so thrilled when she gifted this to me. So this is like a treasure. I have like um, like a wax sealer here. Um, I'm a bit lazy. I don't use it a lot because I gotta go get matches and you know I'm just <laughs> I'm a stickler for safety guys, so I don't use I don't use it much, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I, of course it's gonna be a pink one. And then I've just got um oh there's one of these little petite deco rushes. I love these, they're very hard to come by, or well, for me. And another thrifty find, if anyone remembers Holly Hobby. Um, I have quite a few of her pieces as well. Um, my dad is so good at finding things from the thrift shop. And he's always like finding these amazing things for me. That on that note, I'll show, just quickly show you this. So one of those things that he found was this Peko Chan fan. Oh my God, guys. Yeah, exactly. A Peko Chan fan, holy word there of amazement um <laughs> i can't believe you found this um i'm pretty blown away it's awesome i'm just trying to get this to work Ooh. um i can't believe this was at the op shop like find of the century um <laughs> so <laughs> and then i've got um so i've kind of just missed some i've got some more this is a little futeki guy hello how you doing? Are you all right, mate? Um, so he's just hanging out there, my little mate. Um, and then I've got one of those little um, wax seal stampers. I'm so sorry for the blurriness. And just like Peko Chan stuff like falling out everywhere. Um, <laughs> I love Peko Chan. And then I've just like got a mix of trinkets up here. Um, Again, it's not tidied because I just wanted to show you it in its natural state. This is a magic pudding, a children's book. 
um, in Australia. It's a famous one by Norman Lindsay. Um, and, and actually close by to his little home and cafe. And yeah, so this is like a race I got from there. This is like a clear stamp block. Um, I don't know if anyone maybe scrapbooks or stamps. Um, you just use that for clear stamps. And I've got some like little papers and stamps and more like deco rush things. Um, I just love this little trinket thing. Um, so let's just sit in there. So lots of bits and bobs. And then there's my like my little figurine fun friends <laughs> shelf. Um, I don't know what my fascination is. I think it's a childhood thing, but I just really love like Mr. Potato Head. Like I, I just I never had one as a kid, but my friends all always had them, so I'd always love going over to their houses. Um, I mean, obviously to see them, but a part of me was like. Can you get the Mr. Potato Head out? <laughs> uh, I just, I think I loved it that he came apart and you can kind of be creative with it, making these funny faces. Um, and like, I just, I'm such a kid, hey. How cool is it? Like it comes apart and everything. It's just amazing. So he's gonna sit there. I wish there was like more Mr. Potato Head like themed stationery. Like there's, what's a Toy Story station? It was hard to find uh, Mr. Potato Head stationery. Um, and then I've got my strawberry shortcake mug. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see it pop up often. And I've got like these little um, dot pens in it and like lots of like pastel pens and pencils. And this is a Dor Dorimon. I don't think I'm saying his name right. This guy is on that pencil. Um, I've got, this is another Toy Story figurine, but I got it because it reminds me of Goosebumps, like the kids' books Goosebumps. So I got that, and then I found this little guy in the city, and I got a little Pikachu, and this is a little Peko Chan figurine gifted to me by one of my high school friends. And my lovely pen pal Charlotte gifted me this cute little koala, it is adorable. Uh, even though that I am Australian, I love Aussie things, especially cute Aussie things. I like, was so excited to see that. So I'm um, like, that's going on my desk. So I had to have a post, um, a special spot on that. So, and look, I mean, the best spot of the house, sitting near Peko Chan. So, I mean, that's like pretty like VIP seating, as you would say. <laughs> and then um, my high school friend also gave me these cool character um bar papa i cannot say that i love this little guy so much i think he's another like famous cartoon or children's book i think he's finnish i think he's kind of the same time as moomins i also love moomins um i think oh i'm so sorry if that's like the wrong country and i've just got, got a lot of my like washi tapes um some of my favorite ones like really rare um, ones, or yeah, just ones that I use a lot. And this is um, an artwork by one of my favorite artists, Ken Doan. And he has, does the most like beautiful, colorful, abstract artwork. And I love it because um, this is actually an older print. I think it is from the 90s or 80s. Speaking of like the 80s and 90s, Look what I found at the up shop. Um, I'm not a beauty person. I don't even wear makeup. Like I only put makeup on if I have to, if I've got like a work meeting or I need in a professional aspect, like is the only time I'll put makeup on, but I don't wear makeup. So I'm not a beauty person. But when I saw these at the op shop, I like was like calmly squealing. Um, this was like my go-to fragrance uh, when I was a young teen um, or tween, maybe maybe when I was a tween. Um, this one is the one I remember the most, and I know like some of our family friends gifted us some of these, like me and my sister. So, oh my god, it's still in the packaging, and the packaging's by Kendone um, as well. So that's this is what I mean. Like, it's just it was just his work was on a lot of different things. So it's like this big nostalgic hit for me. I have this cute little strawberry keychain. I have a couple of washi tapes. This is like a vintage um, Jim Holtz, Tim Holtz one. Um, this was a cool plate I got from the op shop. I just love things with funny faces. And I kind of like things that are kind of a little bit um, 
I guess you could say like a kind of bit ugly but cute, like pretty and then you, I don't know, you feel sorry for it and like it's okay, I'll give you a home. Um, I'm not saying that this is ugly but like I just kind of feel bad like it's sitting there and it's like that's okay, I, I really love you and I'm gonna, you know, take you home, look, <laughs> look after you, you'll be a treasured item and I just <laughs> feel like I'm doing my part. <laughs> um, I've got like just little things like little Miffy cards, um, more packaging, um, pen pal gifts, so I have um, like stickers, um, just postcards that I've collected, um, just some special purchases that I really need to go and use, like I've got these beautiful girl stickers, I'm going to keep them out maybe, I'm going to keep them out, I use these. Um, a little more Pego things, um, it's just like sticker books and labels, I got this cool little, um, this is new, this is a Snuggle Pie Cuddle Pie bookmark, um, I love this little character, I think it's Korean, um, Grace Bell, um, my lovely pen pal gifted me that, I mean I've got things like collectible stamps and you were the pig, um, I've got some like Chinese, Japanese books. I've got, I love Moomin, so I've got Moomin paper. I just can't bring myself to use it because it's so beautiful. Um, just like interesting magazine clippings as well. Just really like the design of that. Um, just more like really cool stickers. I think they're Korean as well. I'm loving like Korean and Taiwan. Um, design stickers right now they're like really big bold colorful and graphic um, just really loving that um, yeah just like different like notebooks and this is like a little little bushwalk guide to go bush I just love um, print media so this is like really cute um, illustrated guide um, and it's got like a little map and it's got like you know, for nature and bird watching. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love that they kind of remind me, things like that remind me of like school when you go on those like bushwalks and you're like given a list of things to find. Kind of like those find it books um, that I used to have as a kid. Um, yeah, just like notebooks and things. And yeah, this is like a free little traveler's notebook um, brochure. This was a special key ring which I got from the Studio Ghibli Museum. Um, I absolutely adore this, so that's why it's kind of sitting here for me to like look at and admire. I also absolutely love these Kinjim Kita washi tape strip packets. So I've got just a few of these, um, but they're like lots, they're like miniature washi tape. I guess they're like samples little swatches um, they have the um, paper consistency of like washi tape when you peel it off so they work um, really well but I absolutely love these and I love how each one has like a unique designed cover at the front um, these are my special twines these I got quite a few years ago I found out about them when I was in Japan but I was kicking myself I didn't buy them when I was over there so I had to track down the store it was all in Japanese and I'm really proud of myself I was able to like figure out how to buy these on this Japanese website um, by using Google Translate and they're really nice to um, get back to me and double check my order so they're called Avril Twine and they call these little roll skines and there's all different types, but as you can see, it's really unique um, pastel sparkly twine and I absolutely adore it and I've had it for quite a few years, so I use it sparingly. Um, I wrap some of my pen pal gifts and treats with this and I just use it for special things in general. So I have some of my favorite ones here. I do have a stack more, like a couple more, but um, I keep these ones on my little table here. So that's what I got on my desk. I'm sorry, I'm just talking so fast. I hope this was interesting for you guys, but this is just like what I kind of call my little creative space, my little home. I'm really thankful to have this space. Um, 
obviously it's always been on like my wish list and when we got our house a couple of years ago um, it, yeah we're just so fortunate to have this spare room to um, be able to kind of set up and my, my husband is like so amazing so supportive of what I do and, and like to have like this space like he it's just I love him so much I'm so thankful like yeah I'm just thankful that I'm able to kind of have this space to kind of be creative in because um, I know it's not easy for everyone to have that. Uh, so yeah, it's just really handy. I get a lot of my things done here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I also love watching studio um, desk tours, um, what's in my bag type tours. Um, yeah, I think anyone's a little... I love seeing into other people's creative spaces. Um, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to elaborate on. Um, or seen another video or something you might want to see more close up, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, just have a wonderful day and I hope you guys get a chance to be creative. Um, if you do like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it because it helps it share. Um, I only a very small channel here. Some of you have wondered where I've been. And yeah, there's just been, like, I've had, I've had work on and I've had lots of like things on this last few months um, but yeah there, there are parts that aren't as joyful about being a YouTuber um, so I just want to make sure that I'm just projecting positivity um, instead of negativity or if I'm feeling upset about something I just need to kind of work through it myself so thanks guys for um, watching this video um, I really do appreciate you all. Thank you so much to all the lovely mail you're sending me to my P.O. box. Um, thank you to my like regular commenters and um, yeah, like you follow like, um, especially the ones that follow in like my Instagram as well. I just feel, I feel really like supported and it's just nice. It's just, it's what keeps me going. I mean, I'm just like you guys, I'm, you know, I've got, <laughs> My hobbies and things that I like to do and things that, you know, you want to be brave to share and confident to do. But you also got work and you got life and you got different things happening, good or bad. Um, and it can kind of get all kind of lost. And yeah, you just need to just take the time to, I guess, like reset, refresh um, <laughs> and start again. Because, yeah, I want this to be a place of positivity for you guys. I want this to be inspiring. I want you to kind of get creative and have fun with me as well. I don't, it, it can, it, yeah, it's fun with there's like things that you can watch that might take your mind off something. But thank you guys and thank you for letting me waft on. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for now. And I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be my Hobonichi flip through. So stay tuned for that. See you guys. Thanks again. Bye.